I come here and I, I see such a great community, such a beautiful community, nice neighborhoods, quality schools, quality public parks, a quality zoo, a great new terminal at the airport, and uh, I just don't see that, I haven't seen that pride. And I think there's so much to be proud of here in our community and in this part of the state that we need to, to be proud of who we are. Um, of course, I moved here from Texas. I, I'm not trying to recreate Texas here, but we need to be the best community we can be based on the assets that we have. We've got quality skills. We've been able to grow and sustain a Fortune 150 company here in Monroe, Louisiana. Um, it's now the largest, largest publicly traded company in the state of Louisiana that's headquartered here, and it continues to grow. But, but we've got so many small um, companies and, and, and family-owned businesses that, that thrive here. We have so many families moving here that are, that are doing positive things. And we really, sometimes I think, as a community, don't realize the assets and the quality of the community that we have. One of the things that attracted me most when I was considering moving to North Louisiana was the higher education assets. And I look at Monroe, West Monroe, and Washita Parish, and within 35 miles, we've got four really tremendous higher education institutions with Delta Community College, with the University of Louisiana Monroe, Louisiana Tech, and Grambling State University. Each of those institutions has their own, uh, their own strengths. I look at what Louisiana Monroe's doing ULM's doing with our pharmacy school. I see that being a real future economic driver as far as commercialization of some of the products and the research coming out of ULM. Louisiana Tech is sort of a, from my perspective, is a sleeping giant. Some of the things they're doing with nanotechnology and even aviation and engineering are second to none. Um, I think Grambling is such a rich history and, and is such a proud institution. They're doing a great job fulfilling their mission. And, and I'll get back to the community college, I, I think that's going to be a great asset moving forward as our workforce changes. And I think, I know we'll see more of the vocational training and that college is going to be a tremendous asset as we move forward with that. Um, also, you, you can't forget about K-12 through education. That's the basis for any education, att educational attainment we discuss. Uh, Washington Parish has tremendous schools. We've got great uh, other uh, public schools here, and the parochial and private schools, I think, fill a great need and do a, a tremendous job in providing uh, choices and good opportunities in our community. Well, obviously, the, the traffic, uh, we don't have the conge traffic congestion that Austin has, and the cost of living is much more reasonable here than in Austin. Uh, we, we have a very diverse community, whether ethnic diversity, uh, we're very ethnically diverse and I think a lot of that has to do with that being a university town. Um, that seems to come with being a university town, but the community from what I've seen has been very accepting. And they've been very accepting to me and um, as an outsider coming in and um, just a great community.